Hi, here we are at EMS Today 2014 in Washington, D.C. And one of the new products here at the show is the iGel O2 uh, Laryngeal Mask Airway. <clears throat> now the iGel, if you've never seen this thing, is basically just a laryngeal mask airway, but rather than an inflatable cuff, the cuff on the iGel is gel filled, which sort of hopefully takes away that uh, that concern published in some recent studies about uh, the large pharyngeal balloon on some uh, supraglottic airways impeding uh, carotid artery blood flow during resuscitation and and uh, lowering the chance of uh, a good neurological recovery. The nice thing that I've, I've noticed about the new eye gel is that <clears throat> it incorporates a suction port in here and we'll show you how to do this. You can do gastric decompression and suctioning through the device. We'll feed our catheter through here and it, as you can see, it passes out the distal tip of the device and you can you can suction and, and, and provide some gastric decompression if there was some, some uh, gastric distension and insufflation before you arrived on scene. And the really cool thing about it is, is it's got a constant insufflation port. You can plug in oxygen at 15 liters a minute to this and it can deliver 100% oxygen in your patient. Um, <clears throat> and when the paramedic comes along, if uh, if a uh, first responder or EMT uh, inserted the eye gel, um, when a paramedic comes along, he can either choose to continue ventilating through the eye gel through the standard BVM uh, adapter, or he can insert an endotracheal tube, insert an endotracheal tube down through the eye gel and intubate the patient through that. And it's uh, got a rigid bite block up top so you can't, uh, so the patient can't bite through it and clamp down. Um, so it makes for a, a pretty seamless, um, transition from a supraglottic airway to an invasive definitive airway like a laryngeal, I mean like a endotracheal tube. These things, iGel Airways, the originals, have been in use in uh, in London for uh, for several years now. My contacts at London Ambulance Service um, love these things. They they speak very highly of them. And and when London uh, got away from endotracheal intubation for its paramedics, this is the the standard invasive airway that they they went to. This is their standard ALS airway these days. <clears throat> the, I think it has a lot of potential for my employer because what we do is a, uh, a version of cardiocerebral resuscitation. We call it CPRHD and it's kind of a hybrid of pit crew CPR and cardiocerebral resuscitation. And in the first six minutes of a uh, resuscitation at our service, we, we don't do any positive pressure ventilation. We start off with a non rebreather mask and an oropharyngeal airway, and we passively oxygenate the patient for the first six minutes of the resuscitation. Uh, and then we can either transition to a supraglottic airway or like a comba tube or a king, uh, or we can intubate, provided the medic is uh, comfortable intubating uh, without interrupting chest compressions in any way. But with this eye gel airway, we could drop an eye gel uh, rather than the OPA and the non rebreather mask, hook your eye gel to 100% uh, oxygen with a, a length of oxygen tubing and passively oxygenate the patient far more efficiently than that OPA and um, non rebreather mask would. And then when it comes time to transition, uh, there's no laryngoscope that needs to be pulled out or and you don't have the worry about the, the big pharyngeal balloon of a king or a comba tube uh, possibly occluding cerebral blood flow. You just slide an endotracheal tube through it, inflate the cuff, and you're good to go. And the way these eye gels work is, is uh, the tubes they will fit are size plus three. So this is a number three eye gel that fits 30 to 60 kilogram patients. So you could conceivably fit a standard 6.0 endotracheal tube through these. The largest, uh, for, for grown men, 90 plus kilos, uh, a number five eye gel would accept a 7.0 endotracheal tube. These new eye gels are packaged in what they call the, the recess kit, and it comes packaged with uh, a restraint and a bag of, uh, and a packet of water soluble lubricant. And what you do is you squeeze your lubricant 
into the container and you wipe your eye gel through it, back side, left side, right side, and bottom. And then you, I'm only dipping it in soapy water for the uh, mannequin itself. Um, then you simply run it down the back of the hard pallet until it seats, hook up your oxygen, and ventilate your patient. You're good to go. You can take your, uh, your tube restraint and attach it on there and secure it in place. Got a rigid bite box to prevent the patient from biting through the tube. And when it comes time to transition to an endotracheal tube, it's as simple as sliding the appropriate size endotracheal tube through it and um, uh, inflating the cuff on your tube. You're good to go. I think this has a, a lot of potential, and I think I'm going to try to bring it to the attention of our uh, my services medical director and see what he thinks.